Hey, it's uh, another one of those, what the hell? Why did he pick this movie at this time, at this place? Yep, I, uh, I'm Mac from MacMovieGuy.com, and this is a review of The Terminator. Yep, The Terminator, not Terminator 2, not Terminator 3, not Terminator Salvation, not Terminator Genesis, not Terminator Dark Fate, just The Terminator. It's a film almost as old as I am. And, uh, yep, I'm a blind film critic, and that's the biggest reason why I went after this one, is I'd seen the movie before, uh, when I could see, and I wanted to see what the audio description would do with it. And what kind of audio description you'd be like. I'm really trying to hunt down robo description. <laughs> and uh, I think I found it with this one. It's a little bit questionable because it's not so aggressively obvious. Like the, fir the first time that I really just obviously was hit over the head with it was Jay and Silent Bob Reboot had just the most obvious uh robo description it sounded exact it sounded like my phone was narrating the movie <laughs> um this one is a little bit better it's a little bit more human but it's also there are qualities to the actual audio description of the terminator that make me believe this isn't human plus there was that whole thing at the end where there was no citation of anything having to do with an audio description company or a narrator, or anybody writing the narration, which is exactly what happened with Jane's I Silent Bob reboot. Nobody wanted to be associated with it. So I had to sit through the entire credits just to find out that no one was tied to the audio description. So it's just a mystery. Um, so, uh, The Terminator, I, I guess I should talk about, no, I'm not even going to talk about what it's about. If you don't know what the Terminator is by now, I don't know. Google it. Um, do I like the Terminator? <laughs> um, yeah. All right. The first one is fun. It's very 80s. Um, obviously, there's a reason why everybody goes apeshit over Terminator 2. And it can't be because the Terminator is the best of the franchise. <laughs> it's because... It was actually one of those sequels where they found a way to improve the franchise. They actually came in and they figured out what worked from the first film and just improved upon it. So that is largely why Terminator 2 is the best Terminator film. However, Terminator 2 also would not work without the Terminator. So there is that. Um... But, yeah, it's it's really good for what it is. Uh, it's also really nice to see Linda Hamilton in a role where she's not just aggressively wanting to punch your face. Um, somehow, after this film, she just got really heavily into action star, tough girl roles. But there are parts in this film where she's not that. And it's really nice to see her sort of kick back and relaxed and just playing, you know, girl next door type role. Um, I forgot how, <laughs> you know, like where her career sort of started and where she came from. And she does a really good job of showing us who Sarah Connor was before this giant bomb was dropped on her, you know, like before she actually had to start turning into a person who knew how to use a gun and protect her family. Um, so that, that was, that part was really nice. Um, it also reminds me how little dialogue Arnold actually has in this movie as the Terminator. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, the rest of the cast is great. It, it's a very eighties cast. Um, you know, Michael Bean and, uh, Lance Henriksen, I forgot he was in this until I saw his name in the credits. I had literally forgotten Lance Henri Henriksen was one of the officers. So, very 80s. Very, very good. It's not one of my favorite films of all time, but I, I like it. 
Uh, it's not my favorite Terminator film. So, but I was, I was okay with revisiting it. So what did I get from the audio description of the Terminator? Well, it's a mixed bag. Um, it is at times the best audio description ever. And at times the worst audio description ever. So, I, I really don't know what to do with this film and how to tell you <laughs> how to tell you to approach this film should you choose to watch it uh, with the audio description that it currently has. Um, one of the big things that I advocate for always with audio description with regards to science fiction films is things that are not based in reality. Uh, you have to do a good job of describing them. This film does that. This film does a really good job of describing the science fiction elements of the film and also the action fight sequences. It does a, almost a frustratingly good job, almost to the point where it's like, be careful what you wish for. Because at times, this is where the audio description slips into madness at times, the audio description ends up prevailing so much over the film that it's almost like you're just listening to an audio description track. Not only is the sound mixing and balancing off to where um, the audio description track actually causes the volume level of the um, actual movie to drop in favor of the audio description to where like even sound effects and stuff it becomes hard to hear what people are saying. Um, the audio description actually runs over dialogue. So you end up find you end up having to strain to try to figure out what people are saying at certain points in the film because they didn't plan out the audio description. There was no thought process into, okay, I have this many seconds to speak and then someone else will speak, and then I have this many seconds, and then someone else will speak, and then I have this many seconds, and then someone else will speak. It just speaks. <laughs> it's like, fuck whatever's happening on film. We're just going to talk. <laughs> We're just going to do audio description. So, um, and it does a lot of audio description. Uh, so in some ways, that's why I said in some ways it's the best audio description ever. Because there's a ton of it. However, it does it at the sacrificing of there's a film that we have to audio <laughs> describe beneath it. So it just plays right over things, right through things, and uh, through sequences. And, and it's balanced so weird that you end up losing sound effects and uh, just quick little lines of dialogue and... Not that this film is like heavy in dialogue, you know, this isn't written by Aaron Sorkin, but um, you do miss some dialogue. And I did find that frustrating. It's weird because I got what I wanted in terms of please describe a science fiction film very well. Please make sure you're describing action sequences well. That's a big thing when I always talk about movies with other uh, blind movie lovers, uh, generally they avoid those genres because of lack of, of certain descriptions. So that happens here. But if you've never seen The Terminator before, it's also just kind of, it ends up like you're just listening to an audio description track at times because the movie just totally fades away. It's really that unbalanced. It really just, it's almost to the point where it just totally deafens out the trap the audio track for the movie and i don't think that that's a win either so i think this is my be careful what you wish for scenario in that i got extensive description but it is just it's put in place poorly the execution was not done well there was no thought done in how do we actually use this great audio description? How do we time it? How do we put it in? How do we balance it? They just wrote it 
I think they gave it to a computer. I'm 80% sure this is a, a computer voice. And just <sighs> dropped it on Amazon. They were like, yep, one more audio described title. Uh, we can claim, you know, uh, equality. We got it. We're inclusive. It's like, all right, whatever. Bad inclusivity is not necessarily inclusivity. If you build a handicap ramp to nowhere, you, I mean, you built a handicap ramp, but if it doesn't go anywhere useful, then why build it? So <laughs> if it's not useful, then it's, you didn't really build anything that creates inclusivity and, and uh, helps people with disabilities. You just made something that, Anyway, um, so, so those are my thoughts on the Terminator. Uh, this is on Amazon. I don't know if this track translates across others. I thought it was interesting because this is now officially the oldest film that I've seen with audio description. I'm working my way back trying to find, that's another reason I chose this film. I was like, ooh, this says it has audio description. This film's almost as old as I am. Okay. Um, so now this is the oldest film that I've seen that has audio description, which means somebody actually had to choose to put audio description. I will say that there is something very ironic um, and fun about uh, maybe the Terminator being the one franchise where if there was a robot narrating it, I would be fine with it. Like, you could have done this right if it was, if it was well done. I found it amusing that I was listening to what I was pretty sure was a robot voice um, because of the whole Skynet thing that runs through all of the Terminator franchise. I was thinking to myself, I was like, oh, it's like Skynet's narrating. This is cool. <laughs> so I took it from that perspective and it actually, it actually made it kind of funny for me to listen to the robotic uh, voice throughout the film, but, uh, I don't know that very many films that you can get away with that on, but I was like, oh, Skynet's narrating. That, that's what I put myself in my mind. I wanted to put, uh, I probably will in my actual thing. I'm going to put narrated by Skynet, uh, because since nobody wanted to claim this audio description within the context of the film, eh, anybody could have written this. So I'm just going to say Skynet wrote this and, uh, I'm going to give them the, the credit. Uh, just because it's a Terminator film. So, uh, I also thought it was funny that they just keep calling, uh, Arnold's character Terminator. Not the Terminator, not T-100, not, nothing like that. Just Terminator. So, every time he does something, it says, Terminator walks through a door. Terminator talks to, <laughs> Terminator pulls out a gun. Terminator. I'm like, man, this character needs a name. <laughs> the T-100 something. <laughs> The, the in front of the name something um but uh yeah that that was also something that kind of bothered me after a while i just got tired of hearing terminator like like it was his name like his parents named him terminator you know like his his name was like terminator smith you know his brother's name is josh but he got saddled with the name terminator you know <laughs> it's just I mean, it doesn't work because Terminator, there's like multiple things. The only reason why it works in this film is because he's, he's the only one. So you're like, okay, so Terminator, but like in, in other films where they show multiple Terminators, you can't just keep calling everybody Terminator. They actually have to have distinctive names because they're all Terminators. <laughs> it would be like calling every other character human you know like yeah that's that is what they are they're, they're humans um but they also have distinctive names so we we have to call uh arnold's something arnold something else in this film anyway like i said sometimes it's really good sometimes it's the worst audio description i think i've i've encountered so i don't know what to tell you see it, don't see it. Uh, depends on how much you like this film. I think if you've already familiarized yourself with the film, it'll be easier for you to get through this. If not, uh, God be with you. I, I have no idea. 
I don't know what your experience will be like because I'd already seen this going into the audio description. I would probably find it maddening, um, to be honest, but uh, it's hard to predict how I would have felt if this was my first time watching the film with that audio description. I guess I have to grade the Terminator. It feels weird because it's been out forever and I've seen it before, but um, like I said, this is not my favorite Terminator film. Uh, I'm going to give the Terminator a B plus. Um, yeah. So, anyway, let me know what your favorite Terminator film is, how well you like the franchise, uh, where you think Terminator films rank, um, all that good stuff. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will keep telling you what the audio description is like in movies. And, uh, I will see you, no, I have to do it, don't I? All right, fine. You got it. I'll be back.